While Career Services will be offering its Career and Life Vision workshop throughout the year, we're arranging to have a concentrated number of workshops between fall break and winter break, and we're asking you to try to get your Z group to one of those workshops. What? You've just gotten your Z's through midterms, and you need a break, right? Some time to get your own house in order? And now we're asking you to get your Z's to a Career and Life Vision workshop? What's up with that? First, we want to continue the great work that we all started during orientation along with OACA and the Fall Athlete Program of helping students acclimate to Princeton. Part of that process was for first-year students to figure out, at least in part, who they are and what they want to get out of Princeton. Remember OA's Fears in a Hat exercise and CA's Field Guide to Service? You may have a couple of one-on-ones in which you discuss what the first-year students are hoping to do with their lives after college, or, perhaps more likely, have discussions with students who don't have a clue what they want to do or study. That is precisely why we want to get as many freshmen to the Career and Life Vision workshop as possible. We see too many students who get into the whirlwind of studies such that they don't take the time to reflect on who they are, where their interests lie, and how those interests align with their strengths such that they aren't being as intentional and deliberate with their choices of classes, extracurricular commitments, and even summer plans. They wake up to themselves sometime in the spring of their junior year or even their senior year and realize that they are going to graduate soon and need to get going on finding a job, fellowship, or work on those grad school applications. We'd like to avoid that scenario if possible, and the Career and Life Vision Workshop is a great way to get students to start, or really to continue reflecting on themselves, so that they can be more intentional in all the choices they'll face throughout their four years here. In other words, if first-year students can continue the process of reflection, their four years here can be a laboratory of sorts, where they test whatever hypothesis they have about themselves. Say, they come in thinking they want to be a doctor. Wouldn't it be great if they took the time to confirm that hypothesis about themselves now, instead of realizing their senior year that that is the last thing they want to do with their lives? While we obviously can't guarantee that the Career and Life Vision Workshop will prevent that from happening, we are asking you to get as many of your Z's to the workshop in November because we believe this is about the earliest most of your Z's are ready to hear and work on this material. Some of your Z's may go earlier in the semester, which is great, but most may need the first couple of weeks of the semester to focus on getting acclimated to the rigors of college academics. There may be a bit of a pause though between fall break and maybe the first week of December where students can make the time to go to the workshop. Why we're asking you to do this is that your first year students are more likely to listen to you than anyone else. Let's be honest, this is a three hour workshop and who has that kind of time? But if you emphasize how this workshop can alleviate a lot of the stress caused by not having a plan of action for how to prepare for life after college, they're more likely to listen. Secondly, there are a number of paired and group exercises and it's easier to engage when you know the students you're sitting with. Lastly, it's just easier to go as a group than by yourself. A number of students who are reluctant to attend may be more inclined to go if they know that you'll be there with a good number of the other Z's in your group. To put the Career and Life Vision workshop in perspective, let's first discuss the changes that are ongoing at Career Services. While some of you may still think of Career Services as that place you go to at the end of your junior year or beginning of your senior year to get your resume and cover letter reviewed for job interviews, that's definitely a very incomplete picture. In fact, Career Services has been in the process of reinventing itself over the last couple of years. First, the Career and Life Vision workshops are now considered foundational and permeate all the counseling they provide. Given the focus on the workshops, Career Services is working on creating more and deeper connections between students and alumni so that alumni can serve as guides and mentors in the career exploration process. Lastly, Career Services is working to provide a more diverse range of job opportunities and internships tailored to student interests. Now let's look at the Career and Life Vision Workshop, which is facilitated by Poulin Sanvi, the Executive Director of Career Services. There are four sections in the workshop. The first one is called Define Your Core Ideology. In this section, students will explore issues of who am I and what do I care most deeply about? Section number two is on limiting beliefs. We have a core ideology, but those beliefs are expressed and challenged through the decisions we make in real time. In this section, we'll try to identify the lenses through which we make decisions by discussing issues around money, risk, relationships, and time. In the third section, we define your hypothesis. We'll take some time to list what you believe are your strengths and think about your identity or where your passions and strengths intersect. This process takes some time, so we're going to create an initial hypothesis about yourself, which we're going to test through continued introspection, experiences, and through interactions with other people. 
In the last section of the workshop, participants are encouraged to envision their future and consider their big, hairy, audacious goals. Poulin often shares a great quote from Michelangelo. The greater danger for most of us lies in not in setting our aim too high and falling short, but in setting our aim too low and achieving our mark. We want students to think big and to see that perhaps it's worth taking a risk and considering the amazing impact they could potentially have on this campus, community, and the world. That's it. That's the workshop. Again, we know it's a big ask of you to get your Z to a three-hour workshop in November, but we believe it's worth the investment. We want students to have an amazing journey here at Princeton, so we want to continue the momentum we created at the beginning of the year. The Career and Life Vision Workshop will provide your Zs with some principles and tools to help them continue reflecting on themselves so that they are more likely to make decisions about their future that are truly in their best interests. In my worn blue shoes, then there's you. Then came you when I'm lost. Look at my picture.